Hello! Nice to see you all again. Thought I'd do a little vlog because I'm actually, I've literally been in Leeds for a week and a half, probably not even actually, and I'm already going home, but I'm going home for racing, and that is to shoot my final project for uni. Basically, I didn't realise there were so many uni strikes happening and it affects a lot of my classes and I thought, see, in an ideal situation, I'd be able to shoot my stuff here. But my project is centered around Ireland and like Irish brands and stuff. So I kind of have to shoot it at home and I was gonna wait until Easter, but that's kind of stressy because then if stuff goes wrong or if I need to reshoot things, I'm not happy with things. It's like, I'm not really leaving myself with any time to get things organized for after Easter and stuff. Do you know what I mean? And also then what would I be doing between now and Easter? For visual communications if I just didn't have anything to edit or anything to go off. So basically, long story short, I'm taking this time that there's strikes on to go home and get some of these shoots done. My brain is one big frazzled mess. I don't know how people, like the mental capacity it takes to organise a shoot is just... How do stylists do it? I would love to know. Also because I don't know exactly like what pieces from what brands I'm shooting so I kind of have to like pack for all possibilities and like all colour schemes and oh I don't know I've just packed my suitcase I've just tried to fill it with loads of accessories and basics and some like funky things as well I don't know I don't know if I've packed the right things I'm fingers crossed I've got enough shit I just know I'm gonna start shooting something and be like fuck I've no earrings or I've, I do have earrings but you know what I mean there's gonna be something key that I don't have anything of but yeah don't know how stylists do it you literally must carry like so much shit on you at all times how do you lug that shit about would love to know anyway I'll t oh, the words the words are just not forming in my brain I'm gonna take my makeup off and go to bed I'll talk to you tomorrow who do you want to put these earrings on yeah do you want hoops here you go, here you go. Oh my god, I haven't worn silver in so long. I rented a, a wee old camcorder from uni. Oh, cool. I know, it's so cute. Oh, oh that's got... cool. Is that your own cam camera? Yeah, this is my camera. And then I bought this one in St. George's Market. It's like an old. Oh, fuck. Oh. And then, you bought yeah. that, did you say? Yeah, it was like 50 quid in St. George's Market. I really neat. I wanted like a good kind of digital camera. I oh, handy is this. It's like a. Um, Hair mascara, it's called the smooth stick. Oh, oh is that for your to help flick this back? Yeah, I need it. I can do that as well. Fix it for you because the corset like rum and stuff. Get me with my three cameras. We're gonna try shooting Cara. We're gonna go do a bus stop first. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to wrap my brains for very like Irish looking places and a bus stop and the Holy Lands is what I can think of right now. <laughs> I've got Cara at a bus stop in Finnegy. <laughs> Yeah, you can go. I think I've got the shots. They're really good. Huh? I think I've got enough. They're really good. God bless her. <laughs> There's been so many cars coming past and I forced her to pose at a bus stop for me. <laughs> but how sick is the outfit? So the top and the bag are both by a brand called AH Designs. So everything I'm shooting is based around like Belfast and Irish brands. Obsessed. a full operation we're literally in the middle of the holy lands right now <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay and just like move around fix your top and stuff gorgeous come back onto the um Come back up. Hello Queens. Sorry I haven't checked in on you in a while. I think it's been probably nearly two weeks since I last saw you. I've been really unorganized with these shoots. I've now got on top of things. I've got a good few packages here from some Irish brands to unbox and see what goodies I have from them. They're all like, I have to post them back after I haven't bought all these things or been sent them. I have to return them to the brand, which actually sucks because I know I'm gonna fall in love with some of these pieces. 
because some of the brands are incredible. And let's unpackage all these things together and I'll show you what exciting pieces I have to shoot. But first up, let's unbox my Case Defy package together. This part of the video is very kindly sponsored by Case Defy, my actual base. If you know me, you know I'm a big Case Defy lover. My collection is forever growing because I just like to be really extra and match my phone case to my outfit. I mean, it doesn't really match today, but this is just on my phone today because it makes me happy. Very excited to see what we've got in here. Wow. Oh, we've got a new screen protector. I actually am in desperate, desperate need of this. Yes, Soleil Mama. We got a little mirror case with Soleil on it. <laughs> you can fully customize these. Like You could have your name where you can just have whatever word you want on there. I thought slay was quite fitting so that when you use your little mirror to, you know, give yourself a little check, tells you you're slaying. I thought this little heart print case was really cute. You know I love anything that has faces on it. How adorable. And of course, another thing with happy and sad faces on it. A little cloud case. Oh my god, I love Let's change this over to the Cloud one. I'm feeling something new and fresh. This one is actually one that was done as an artist collaboration, which is amazing. I love that Kissify do this. So they collaborate with independent artists and that's why they have like so many different collections with different independent artists and they pay them like better than the kind of industry rate. They've collaborated with like more than 300 artists I think now and like over 40 of them were in the UK. I genuinely don't know where I'd be without Kissify. Actually that's a lie, I know exactly where I'd be and I'd be in thousand pounds of debt because I'd have had to have bought so many new phones because I'm that clumsy I literally just chuck them apparently. The ultra impact and the regular impact cases are made of 65% recycled and like upcycled phone cases basically. So they're slaying on the environmental front. If you want to be extra like me and change your phone case on the daily according to your outfit slash mood <laughs> or if you're just clumsy, head to casetify.com forward slash Emma Neal and you'll get 15% off your Casetify order. And thank you so, so much to Casetify for sponsoring this video. You guys are the real MVPs, saving my phone on a daily basis. First up from the Irish brands, we've got a brand called Execute Exists. My friend told me about this one. She sent me their Instagram when I was like looking for Irish brands to shoot. How sick is this? It's such good quality as well. It's like really heavy knit. He also sent me two hoodies that have little like clatter designs. If you're not Irish, you probably don't know what it is. Clatter is like this. If that's focusing, you might be able to see. You know the little clatter rings? Basically it symbolizes if your heart is taken or not. Like you're supposed to wear it facing away from you. If your heart is available, you're supposed to wear it facing you if you're taken. I don't know why it's an Irish thing, but it is. And he makes hoodies that have cladder designs with like rhinestones on them and they're really cool. But I'm not gonna take them out of the thing right now. This is one that I'm very excited about. I'm scared to even open this. I'm scared to put my hands on this because this is shit is expensive and I don't wanna damage it. Oh my God. Okay, so this is a brand called Rashid. If you haven't heard of Rashid, you've been living under a rock probably because she fucking dressed Doja Cat recently, which is insane. She makes like faux fur accessories, like hats, leg warmers, earmuffs, just like really OTT extra furry accessories. Let's see. Oh. Oh my god. See, I would love to buy one of these, but I just don't know that I can pull one of these off, you know? Okay, I can't. No, this is so fucking cool. <gasps> Do I pull it off? Just imagine me walking around Belfast like this. And then she also sent me, so she made me the pink, which was so kind of her. And then she said she had this sample that she also sent me that she shot before. Red doesn't really suit me. It makes me look very pale, but like, how fucking cool. If I go skiing next year, I'm buying myself one of these hats in a different color though, because this one does not suit me whatsoever. Yeah, buzzing to shoot these. Oh my God, the quality again, insane. Okay, and last but not least, well, it's not the last as in, it's not the last thing I'll be shooting for my whole project, but it's the last thing I currently have 
of my parcels. I'm hoping to get all of these things shot this weekend so I'll bring you along with me. But this is a brand called Hope Macaulay who is from Northern Ireland. Again, if you haven't heard of her, you've been living under a rock because she has popped off for her big chunky knit cardigans. It all gets made in Northern Ireland. I think her studio is in like I want to say banger but that I could be wrong. I have wanted one of these cardigans for the longest time. Every time it gets to winter I'm like do I do it? Do I buy one? Do I just fuck it and do it? Do you know what? The only thing that puts me off buying them is how much it rains here. It's such a good thing to have for winter but if it just rained a little bit less I would definitely buy one because I'd be because I know I'd get more wear out of it but do you know what? Having this noise, I bet you it's going to make me want to buy one. Watch me literally buy one the second I send this back to her. Wait. <gasps> the weight of this. Guys, I'm shook. Sorry, I need to move this coffee ASAP. <gasps> oh my god. Guys, no. No way. <gasps> Look at that. I told you I was gonna want that after I tried it on. Oh, she is so dreamy. I am shook to the core at how gorgeous all of those garments are. It, it honestly, it makes me nervous, the fact that I just have these in my room and the fact that I have to like bring them out with me like to shoot. It's giving me anxiety. I don't wanna damage anything, but yeah. That's what we've got and that's what I'm going to try and shoot this weekend. I've got two friends that have said they would be my models on Friday. So I'm going to try and get all the Rashid and the Hope Macaulay stuff done then. And then I want to get the Execute Exist stuff and maybe some more flay bits shot on Saturday slash Sunday. If I can get any models last minute. Yeah, that's the plan. I'll see you then. We came to Giant's Ring to shoot this Hope Macaulay cardigan. Wait, let me show you the full outfit actually. There she is. <laughs> My gorgeous model. <laughs> um, yeah, we've literally just been taking photos in this field and there's been a dog staring at us the whole time. I'm shooting them now in the chippy wit. <laughs> this is hilarious. I've got them in Rashid hats. <laughs> the amount of looks we're getting for this. <laughs> no, do not be fucking with those hats. Stop it right now. I just wanted to finish off the vlog and thank you guys for coming along with me to my shoots. I've still got plenty more to go. Like that is just a fraction of them and I'm just being missed unorganized over here. I'm actually pretty happy with how most of them turned out. I did actually include some photos in the vlog so you guys could kind of get an idea of what I was shooting. But they're completely like raw unedited photos so you know there's a lot of work to be done on them they will look probably nothing like like I want everything to be very almost like nostalgic and like look a little bit filmy I think I'm not really 100% sure yet what way I'm gonna go down on the editing front but yeah as always thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you in my next video bye